A second bald eagle has now died after contracting avian flu. News 11's Angela Huddy is at the World Bird Sanctuary where they are working to protect the birds in their care. Angela. Yeah, Mike, it's not something that anyone would ever hope to see. One of the great symbols of our country in danger of drowning. But unfortunately, this is just one of more than a dozen cases of avian flu in Missouri so far. On Sunday, fishermen found a bald eagle in distress along the Merrimack River. The bald eagle presented to us with neurologic signs, which is one of the symptoms of the avian influenza. The World Bird Sanctuary in Valley Park was called in to treat the eagle, but sadly it could not be saved. And that bird did pass away and went off to Missouri Department of Conservation for testing and it did come back positive. Since February, highly pathogenic avian influenza has been detected along major bird migration routes in the U.S. and Canada. The Department of Conservation has detected uh, avian flu in birds in 11 counties in the state of Missouri, and that includes St. Charles County and two cases in St. Louis County. The disease can infect wild birds like hawks and geese and domestic birds like chickens and turkeys, where it can be extremely devastating. Conservation and agricultural agencies are tracking the spread, and wildlife groups are being cautious. At the World Bird Sanctuary, the wildlife hospital is closed to anyone who isn't hospital staff, and resident birds are being treated in a separate space. We have a foot bath for all of our buildings when we go back and forth through our buildings on the property. So the foot bath is something, a precaution that can help stop the spread because uh, it can be picked up on your shoes. They expect cases to continue to be found through the spring. Until then, if you see any birds having trouble flying, standing up, or acting lethargic, don't try to help them, but contact wildlife officials. If you do see any birds that kind of match that description that are, again, waterfowl, ducks, geese, or birds of prey, definitely report that to uh, the Missouri Department of Conservation. And again, folks want to stress here that avian influenza does not pose a serious risk to human health. But like you heard, we can be carriers or transmitters of that virus. So if you are someone who likes to hike or fish, maybe take a few minutes to wipe off, clean off the bottom of your shoes before you get in your car or step in your house at home just to kind of slow that transmission down. If you'd like to report a sick bird, look for links with this story on our website so you can find out information on how to do just that. Reporting live in Valley Park at the World Bird Sanctuary. I'm Angela Huddy, News 11.